Chaka likes to read fairy tales before she goes to sleep. Why don't we join Chaka for her wonderful journey? Cinderella. Long ago, in a village far away, a young lady named Cinderella lived with her stepmother and stepsisters. When Cinderella's father died, the stepmother and stepsisters suddenly changed their attitude and began treating her like a maid. Hey, Cinderella! The laundry is piled up like a mountain. Hurry up and wash them. Yes, mother. Cinderella, get your lazy butt to my room now. I have to sleep. Turn the light off for me. Uh, okay, sister. Cinderella, give me a glass of water with two slices of lemon. Okay. <gasps> okay. The stepmother so and stepsisters were jealous of Cinderella's beauty and intelligence, so the bullying got worse every day. But kind and optimistic Cinderella did not feel sad or frustrated, because Cinderella always had a cute puppy friend named Fluffy by her side. <coughs> Fluffy, I'm okay. Household chores are tiring, but they're worth doing. The more the stepmother and stepsisters saw Cinderella's kindness and positivity, the more jealous they got. So bullying got the extreme. Oh no, my hand slipped. You should have been more careful. Cinderella, hurry up and clean this. We have to go to a flower arrangement class. <laughs> when will I finish cleaning all this? Oh, that's right! Cinderella gathered all the unused rags and sewed them to the bottom of her slippers. And with the same material, she also made an outfit for Fluffy. Okay, Fluffy. Let's run around the house together and play! <coughs> Cinderella happily ran around the house with Fluffy. And pretty soon, the house became clean. If you have an idea, you can do anything! Thanks, Fluffy! This concludes today's chores. One day, an invitation arrived at the house. Oh, children, come over here. There is going to be a ball at the palace tonight. Let's get my precious daughters ready. Yay! Will the prince be there too? I heard he's really handsome. Sister, forget it. He'll end up falling for me. What? You? I'm a hundred times prettier than you! <laughs> you wish! Cinderella watched her sisters talk. Inside her mind, she also wanted to attend the ball. Hey, Cinderella, do you want to go too? <sighs> yes. Yes, Mother, I really, really want to go. All right, the invitation is for all the ladies in the house, and that includes you. We'll be on our way first, so finish up the chores before you head over to the palace. <laughs> oh no, when will I finish cleaning all this? <sighs> I guess I won't be able to make it to the ball. At that moment, a fairy godmother appeared in front of Cinderella. Oh, those three! Such terrible people! I can't take it anymore! I will help you! Oh, oh my! Who are you? Oh, I'm the fairy godmother. I help kind people. Since you've been so kind, I want to give you a present today, Cinderella. Let's see. Shall we begin with the dishes? Hmm. 
Now, let's see what's next. Now, all we have left is the dust. Oh, what was I thinking? I should get you changed first. Now, Cinderella, come over here. never seen such a beautiful dress in my life. Kind and clever, Cinderella. This is my special present for you. Don't worry about the house chores. Go to the ball before it's too late. There's a carriage waiting for you. <sighs> Thank you, Fairy Godmother. Oh, Cinderella, there's one thing you should keep in mind. The spell will be broken at midnight, so you must get back before then. And so, Cinderella was able to go to the ball in a beautiful dress. The bright and sparkly palace was filled with people in beautiful clothes. However, looking more beautiful than ever, Cinderella stood out from the crowd. Look over there. I've never seen such a beautiful lady. Oh, her, her dress is so pretty. Oh, how did this dirty dog get in here? Uh, Fluffy, I forgot about you. I'm sorry. Since we're both here, shall we dance? Cinderella danced happily with Fluffy, not concerned about others' eyes. After watching them from far away, the prince approached Cinderella. <clears throat> if it isn't too much trouble, can I ask you for the next dance? Your Highness? Yes, of course. I have two puppies of my own. Really? Yes, but I must say, your puppy has a very unique outfit on. <laughs> it's a special outfit I made myself. When the puppy wears it and runs around, the house becomes tidy and clean. Wow! That's extraordinary! You have to make some for my puppies, too. <laughs> but the palace is so big that you'll probably need more than two dogs. I think I fell in love The moment I first met her How can I tell her how I feel She is so beautiful I think I fell in love The moment I first met him can I forget this feeling? He is so wonderful. I'd like to dance with you. Me too. I like to walk the door. Me as well. We have so much in common. break at 12. I must return home. Your Highness, I have to go now. Please accept my apology. Cinderella! Wait! Cinderella dashed out of the palace as fast as she could. 
but in her hurry, one of her glass slippers fell off her foot. Oh, the spell really broke. It was like a dream. Will I be able to see the prince again? <laughs> it's okay, Fluffy. Now, let's get back home before stepmother and stepsisters return. After the magical night, nothing of Cinderella's life changed. By order of the prince, we are looking for the owner of this glass slipper. The prince visited every house in the kingdom to find Cinderella. Oh, your highness, it's me. Don't you recognize me? This is my glass slipper. What? How can your giant foot fit into such a small and delicate shoe? It's obviously mine. What? Oh, they're not normally like this. <gasps> no! Oh, oh no! no! Oh my, what are we going to do? When everyone was in shock, Fluffy recognized the prince and ran to him. You, you're that puppy. Then she should be... Hearing all the fuss from the kitchen, Cinderella stepped out to see what was going on. Cinderella! Uh, uh, your Highness, how did you... I searched the whole kingdom looking for you. And now I finally found you. How did you recognize me? Your glass slipper has shattered. But your lovely puppy has brought me to you once again. <coughs> Thank you, Fluffy. Thank you, little one. <coughs> Cinderella and the prince were happily in love. Soon they got married and lived happily ever after. <coughs> of course, with Fluffy too. Thank you.